Watch the making of a colour filled splash painting. The science of string theory and the art of splash painting celebrate the creation of a unified field. Here you see the completed painting. Now watch it being composed. The acrylic paint is held in this plastic bottle and thrown with a circular arm action. The paint flowing from the nozzle onto the canvas. When the painting is completed, you will see an impressive series of still photographs detailing the in-flight evolution of the thrown paint. The background noise you hear is the rain on my shed roof, and you will also hear the whoosh of the energetic picture creation. The completed painting. Each splash on the canvas shows the evolution of the emerging paint flow and is called its world sheet. Here are the five consecutive in-flight photographs taken at 40 frames per second. The entire sequence covers an eighth of a second time frame. It is a remarkable sequence of photographs which depicts the physical effects of fluid dynamics never previously seen. The physics of what we see happens at the nozzle. A thrown paint emerges as a vortex of fluid, similar to the way water empties down the plug hole of a sink. Now a circularly polarised photon of light behaves in a very similar fashion. So the emerging paint becomes the analogue of the circularly polarised photon of spin 1. This illustration relates to the emerging circularly polarised vortex flow of paint through the nozzle. As the energy of the throw increases, the spin doubles to spin two. Then at the nozzle, the paint flow divides into two branches. Each branch is now linearly polarised in a horizontal and a vertical direction. And each branch moves counterclockwise to each other to become the analogue of the graviton. This illustration depicts how the branches of fluid flow become linearly polarised. In conclusion, we see the spin doubling as the open string photon evolves into the closed string graviton. But there is a problem. In the length scale of the strings of paint, this increase in energy is possible. At the Planck length scale of the photon string, it would require an enormous increase in energy, only possible at an event like the Big Bang at the origin of the universe. At this time, the photon, the carrier of the electromagnetic field, and the graviton, the carrier of the gravitational field, would be part of a unified field.